Hey, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to look at a site for getting royalty free images and videos for use in your YouTube videos, presentations, and other online material. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at adding a little bit of extra to your video or to your multimedia presentations. Now it's quite often the case that when you're trying to make a presentation, sometimes it's a little bit flat, a little bit boring, and you want to add maybe a different picture, some B-roll footage, or just something to spice things up a little bit. And sometimes it's really hard to get that kind of footage, or maybe you don't have your camera with you, or don't have access to the camera, you've just got some footage to work with, and that's it. So what can you do? Well, what I like to do is go to a website called Pixabay and download some free images or some movie footage to hopefully increase or improve the quality of my videos. So let's head over to Pixabay now and I'll show you what it's like. So in Google, just type in Pixabay. That's P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. And you can go to Pixabay. And as you can see, stunning free images. So let's head over there. So this is the welcome page and at the top you've got options for different things you can choose. So you've got photos, illustrations, vectors and videos. So you've got a pretty good lot of options there to start with. Now I would highly suggest that you log in or sign up. I've already signed up so I'm just going to go ahead and log in now. I've used my Google account and there we go. Now the welcome message says that is a very clean portfolio. Upload 10 images to get rid of all ads on Pixabay. Now you don't have to do that. I've been using this for quite a while and I've not uploaded any pictures. The option is entirely up to you. So if you've got some pictures that you particularly would like to share, then you can upload them to Pixabay to get your photos and videos seen all around the world. So how does this work? So let's do a, a typical search. Let's search for, say for instance, I'm gonna be doing a video on maybe how to fix Facebook problems. So let's see what images we can get for Facebook. And at the top, you've got sponsored images by Adobe. This is sometimes sponsored by Shutterstock and other places. So the top lot you can use, but you will have to pay for them. Subscription services, that kind of thing. But anything below, as you can see here, you've got 3,050 free images of Facebook. So there's all sorts of different types of image. There's uh, kind of quite surreal ones. There's the Scrabble one, almost like screen grabs, pictures of phones, all sorts, pretty much anything you could imagine. So let's say, for instance, I actually quite like the look of this one. So as you can see, the image is a nice looking image and it's the Pixabay license says free for commercial use, no attribution required. Fantastic. So you can download this, use it in your presentation, whether it be in the home, in the office, online, doesn't matter. It's still free to use and you won't get into any trouble. Now that is a big thing these days. You can't just grab images off Google like people used to do. There are copyright rules in place, and the last thing you want to do is if you're growing a channel or trying to create an impact on internet media, then the last thing you want is to get some kind of copyright strike against you. So by using these types of images, you safeguard yourself against those kind of things happening. So what you can do here is you can like the image, that helps the creator, and I'm gonna click on free download. Now you get various options depending on the image of what sizes you can get. You can get very small ones like thumbnail type images. You've got 1280 by 583. And the one that I'm more than likely gonna be using is the, the kind of the 1080 kind of range size. So this actual one is 1920 by 1280. And it's a JPEG, so we'll just click on download. And let's download it to our desktop. And there we go. And if you want to, you can say thanks to the image's author by uh, donating them some money or you can follow them on Instagram, all those kinds of things. Different options for different creators depending on what they like. Now, crediting isn't required, uh, but linking back is appreciated by obviously the authors because they're trying to make a name for themselves, etc., etc. So you can use the link actually in the picture there, you can copy that and then paste that into your piece. So if you've saved on a YouTube video in your video credits at the end, you can just put a little thing in there saying images by blah, 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 whoever they are. So all well and good. Now that's okay for images, but maybe you want something moving, a, a nice video. So let's click on videos. Now here we've got a whole new option of different types of video. 
and pretty much everything you could think of. So say for instance, you want one for people to like, or well, that is the theme. So click on that video. And again, the Pixabay license, free for commercial use, no attribution required. And on the side, it also gives you the media type, also gives you the resolution, the duration, how long it's been on, and how many people have used it. So if you find a particular image, which you find particularly nice looking, it's probably worth looking to see how many downloads it's actually had. If it's had a, a real high amount of downloads, it's possible that that image has been used in a lot of places. So maybe you want to try and look at something a little bit more original. But again, if you like it, feel free to use it. That is what this is all about. The images are free to use, no restrictions, no regulations. Just help out the authors if you possibly can and use all the images you like. <laughs> you like. Anyway, so let's see what this image is like. Oh, I said like again. So there we go. It's quite a nice moving image and can spice up an image or a video. I'm not entirely sure on that one, so let's have a look at this one. Now this particular one is actually in 4K. So for those of you who are creating in 4K, this could be really helpful. Now again, this is an MP4. It actually says that the resolution there is 2200 by 1028. So it's not quite 4K, but it's still a high resolution image. So let's click on play and see what it looks like. So again, if that's the sort of thing that you're after, all well and good. Now let's try another one in the video section. So let's try um, what is quite a, quite a nice one to use sometimes, a keyboard. So if someone's typing on a keyboard, that's quite a good one to use. So again, 1080 image. And there we go. Maybe you're doing a piece on maybe cyber security, that kind of thing. Could be right up your street. So hopefully this has given you some ideas for maybe your media presentations or your YouTube videos, whatever it may be. If you want to check out some more of the images, you can go to pixabay.com. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.